Hi, welcome back on Tourism.tv. What is the evolution of the French market for you? Well, thank you very much for having me. The French market has remained very important to South African tourism. If you look at our footprint in Europe, uh, we have five key markets, and France is one of them. If you look at the global markets, France is the fifth largest source of long-haul tourism to South Africa. And there has been a cultural link between South Africa and France over a long period of time. We understand the French, the French understand South Africans. And we think it is about time that we take advantage of some of the most important things that will enhance tourism, and that is in the area of culture and heritage. More than the safari experiences that we've had in the past, we have realized as well that we are beginning to talk to a new generation of tourists coming out of France who don't necessarily go to South Africa for the safari experience. They want to get a little more out of it, value for money being one of them. So that also dictates the platforms that we use in communicating and reaching out to this new market. Talking about the destination, South Africa is well known for Cape Town or Joburg, but do you promote other parts of the country? Of course, for us it is about the even distribution of tourism in our country. And we also deal with some of the myths that exist, the stereotypes that may be there. For instance, people thinking that Johannesburg is simply a transit airport or is a transit destination. Uh, those French people who have visited South Africa, we have now discovered uh, Dinogain, Maboneng, the cradle of humankind. Uh, they have also discovered the historical and the heritage sites in South Africa, Freedom Park. Those are all in South Africa, in Johannesburg. So Johannesburg has suddenly taken off because people realize in one stop you can get so much more. But we also feel that from a provincial point of view, all the provinces deserve a fair share of tourism to South Africa. For us, the first important thing is people choose to come to South Africa and not go to Mauritius. And when you are in South Africa, we want you to touch on all the provinces, stay longer and spend more money in South Africa. <laughs> Let's talk about the traders, the travel agency and tour operators. And also you have a big event called Indaba. What are you promoting this year and what are the actions you will launch for the traders in France? South African tourism realizes that it does not have enough budget on its own to market the country. For that reason, we work very closely with the channel. Our job is about uh, creating awareness and as well as posting positive messages about how you become aware of the country and leave the convention exercise to the channel, the travel agents, the tour operators, the airlines, and all of those key uh, markets. We then take them to South Africa as an, a platform that allows the South African products to eventually meet with the international buyers. In, at Indaba in 2014, we aim to continue to showcase the technology that is behind driving tourism today. We want to continue to showcase heritage and culture. We created a pavilion last year at which you can see the galaxy of South African heritage sites. We also promoted meetings, uh, 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 speed marketing, which allows people shorter bursts of time with various products. We are also developing this to be a, a, a one-stop uh, exhibition trade fair for the rest of Africa. So the uh, emphasis in 2014 will be a pan-African approach. We started some few years ago opening up for the Southern African countries, but now we believe the demand and the request from the rest of Africa to share this important platform, which is in the top show, trade shows around the world, so that they also can benefit out of that. But it is also about a realization that trends have changed. When people buy products, they start from a continental product. They are either buying an Asian product or American product or European product before they start thinking of a country in the, in, in the region. So once they, they are in the, in the continent, they will then go to a, a country. Once they are in the country, they will go to provinces. Once they are in the provinces, they will go to cities. So if, when we provide a one-stop shop, it is also about creating one image for Africa that is a positive one, together. Thank you. We hope we'll be pleased to see you there.
Have a nice day. Thank you, Thank you very much and looking forward to seeing you again in the townships of South Africa.